Hey, it's Mike Waters with the Waters Wake Up Call. This morning I asked, what was the first band or artist that got you into music? Do you know how hard it is to get a hold of you with this old rotary phone? You're using a rotary phone? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it, it requires skill to do that to call a radio station with a rotary phone. You yeah. can't even do it with a cell phone. Yeah, well, it, it takes, what, about 10 minutes to go through the whole process, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. You should at least have, if you have a landline, you should at least have one of them push buttons things. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, um, the who, I got into the who, who's Tommy, who's next in the day, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to a little rock and roll hoochie coo. Yeah, what do you think rock and roll hoochie coo is all about? What do you think the hoochie coo involves? A good night's sleep, I don't know. A rock and roll good night's <laughs> sleep, I doubt it. <laughs> Morning, Mike. It's Uncle Mike here. Hello, Uncle Mike. I am dying to hear what your first band or artist that got you into into well, music you was. Know what? You shouldn't have to ask me because you just are a carbon copy of me. Was it a band with four members and they were all fab? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and for the Beatles, it was the Stones. And then I learned about guitars and the Yardbirds, and it just kept rolling. It's when I got my first guitar yeah. and stuff. And, you know, it just kind of you know? You just right. Took right off. Well, who was your big guitar you know, inspiration when you first started? Oh, I loved George Harrison when I was, when I was young. And so yeah. I was so happy when I learned to play Day Trip or I drove everybody nuts. <laughs> oh, that riff, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd call him up on the phone and make him listen to it. My mom would get so mad <laughs> and stuff. But uh, <laughs> it's just, it, it's insane. But, oh, yeah, yeah, totally the Beatles. Mine was Ario Speedwagon. Oh, what was the album? What was the album by Ario that got you into him? The High Infidelity. Of course. And and then the wheels are turning. So are you still a huge REO fan to this day? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there was something about that High Infidelity album when it came out and the age I was. I think everybody who was into music loved that album. Yep, and I actually got to see him in concert, Wheels Are Turning concert. Oh, I bet that was good. They're a great live band. That was my first concert. The Waters Wake Up Call. Weekday mornings, 5.30 to 10. 105.7 KOKZ.